Hello and welcome back to Fooling, our Let's Play series on FS22. Right, so we've got quite a bit on for March, as you can see we are in March. Uh, we did end up skipping by February, well not skipping, we checked on all the animals, uh, everyone's doing very well, everyone's very happy, uh, but March has gotten very busy, or is very busy, uh, as you can see it's only quarter past the hour in the morning, it's after six, uh, <laughs> sorry it's just lots on, so we are at the shop because we are going to uh, treat ourselves and purchase a new trailer. I do really enjoy the um, the trailer that we do have, the flatbed that we currently own. Um, however, it's been converted back to um, a capacity trailer, and we're going to use it for hay, straw, that sort of thing for the uh, the horses and that. Right, wanted to pop in here and have a look. Nothing that we can really blind me. Look at that. <laughs> That's that is incredible. Wow, look at that. Ah yes, America. Right, although it's a kangaroo. Don't know. Anyways, uh, let's go to the trailers in question. So I'm going after a bale trailer actually. I was going to auto load things but I've decided against it. I want to have a manual loading but we will put this to baling just to remove the thing there. I've used this uh, trailer in the past. Not, not in this series but before I have. Uh, right, we don't need any extensions, we don't need anything fancy, even the colour is alright. Um, I think that's perfect. This uh, Aguas Tenius, that's a um, a Spanish company from what I remember when I did use this trailer in the past um, and it's brilliant. So not too far off, a bit of an import uh, but it matches not too shabbily I will say. Right, so the reason we are getting this trailer is, in February, I did a uh, beautiful, very nice trailer actually. Perfect. We don't, we don't need anything bigger than this. Absolutely not. Right. So, uh, we sold a bunch of things in the last episode. And uh, in February, I decided, oh right, we need to look at all the other things that we have to sell. One of those things being honey. Now, the honey, I did take some time in February to stack some um, pallets off screen with uh, the forklift to try and get them neatly organized. <clears throat> that was a terrible mistake. Um, well, not a mistake, but rather there's just too many pallets. So I was stacking and stacking and stacking for days and there were all still pallets spawning. So we're going to stick this in here. We're going to get this ready to load pallets. As you can see, it's an absolute madhouse. Uh, we can turn the beacon's lights off. Yeah, it's a very nice uh, new addition to the farm. Very pleased with this trailer, actually. Um, and really, it wasn't even that expensive, and it just looks stunning. Right, so as you can see, absolute madness on the honey front. Uh, other updates aside, before we start this, I do want to get it sold, because if you look... Where are we here? In... So honey is going down. We do have to get to. We have to get on that right now, actually. Three, four, four, zero. That's the one restaurant. Very close. Uh, cereal also needs to be sold ASAP. But as you can see, we are maxed out of cows. We actually had um, some new, a new calf, new five new calves. But there should have been ten. But unfortunately, we didn't have the room. So, of course, right, so we need to uh, look at that as well, which will mean uh, buying a new pen somewhere. I've also realized that horses seem to max out at £5,000. So, because they are both so close to reproducing again, I'll probably let them do it one more time and then sell them for £5,000, uh, just to not have to keep incurring the fee of maintaining them um, and then we'll let these two grow and we'll have two more and so and so forth so not quite the uh, money making uh, business they were in uh, in 19 also just before we get this started remember how I said I wanted to do beets right so I was looking on the uh, that's where we're going for the honey I was looking on the thing here to see where could we possibly um, buy a field with beets. I was hoping there'd be one. There is one. It's massive, but it is 15. This is the field that we've been on and on about, or I've been on and on about for a long time, wanting to purchase. Now's the time. Um, it is growing with beets, which just obviously means we'll have to uh, 
lease the massive harvester, one of them, uh, for that particular harvest. Very exciting stuff. Uh, that will come as well as a new uh, cow pen. Uh, we'll get all that sorted once we get... Right, this is an absolute mistake. I, f I forgot about this, so as I was stacking them, I realized that if you stack them uh, any more than too high, they will freak out and attack you. So I've decided too high is my limit. Oh, it did work. Please don't just go mantle. Right, perfect. Okay, good. So, uh oh, shaking. I just want to be very careful with this. Could probably fit three across, actually. Oh yeah, easily. I just, yeah, I want to be careful. I should probably do them two stacks. Yeah, I don't want to go too crazy with them. Uh, be very conscientious of the fact that they can very easily just uh, fly away. Oh no. Right, so I have made a mistake. Um, the mistake is that you cannot strap down that's that's mental. Why can't you strap down? Is it because it's ba a bale trailer? Hmm. Let me very quickly reverse into the uh, trigger here. Oh, actually, we might be close enough. That's concerning. Right, let's customize it to... Uh, bail no manual loading so we'll keep the things that's fine it just I do hope that that does work oh thank goodness Whew. I was very concerned there for a moment that we <laughs> wouldn't be able to strap down our very very hard earned stacked pallets the pallets themselves haven't been that hard earned the bees have been doing all the work but, um, but yeah, nonetheless, stacking them is no easy task, especially when they're very fidgety. Right, well, I was hoping to be able to do this uh, a, bit more, a bit more swiftly, but I have to be very, very cautious as they are looking very sensitive as I approach the trailer. Um, I'm probably best to put this into a time lapse. Uh, best for, for you and for myself. <laughs> for everyone involved, really. Um, there we go. It's not too bad. Just get that nice and leveled as well. Perfect. Well, pretty perfect. Fairly perfect. It's alright. Strap it down nonetheless. Right. We'll carry on this with a time lapse. We'll be off to eventually sell them once we get through all of the um, stacks and stacks of pallets here. Um, and then we'll head over to the cereal factory. We'll collect those pallets as well. Don't want to forget that's a terrible idea. Um, hopefully I don't have to bring out any super strength for any adjustments. Um, should be fine with just the forklift, but we shall see. Right, let's uh, carry on with the time lapse. As you can see, it, the trailer is loaded. Uh, uh, between issues with the forklift and stacking and the trailer sliding around, uh, there was many different things involved in finally getting all of the honey on the trailer. There's loads of it. Um, I have made a decision with the honey, at least with just the honey. I probably won't use too much of the forklift. I will probably revert to a bit of uh, super strength action. Very strong honey lifting man. Uh, for honey only. Um, for cereal that I have to sell in a bit, I would like to use a um, the forklift still because there's not that many pallets. Here there's so many pallets. There is literally 20,000 litres of small pallets. Um, it's a bit mental. But, uh, let's go this way around, yeah. Right, so, we're going to the restaurant. I will double-check very quickly, though, to make certain that that is the best choice. Might as well maximize our profits. So, honey, three, four, four, zero, 
Yeah, that's the best one still. Um, and I believe the maximum it said was 3333, so if that is the case, we are still uh, definitely above that, so it's fine, even with the price decreasing. Same with cereal. It's quite, quite a good price. Right, so we'll get this over here. So with the cereal being sold, that is the final time uh, that we will use the cereal factory. We do have a few items left in, but I'm pretty certain that all of the cereal... I did clear a bit, but I don't know if any more has spawned in in, uh, in there, so we shall see. Right, we are at the restaurant now. Look at this massive load. This is unbelievable. So, so much honey. Right. Oh, see, the trailer is moving about a lot. A lot here. I'll, I'm going to readjust and we'll go in the trigger. Just a moment. Alright, we've lined up nicely again and we'll very carefully go into the trigger here. Try and get it all in one lump sum if we can do. 46,589 and the rest there we have it. So about 47 plus 20 Wow, that's mental. That's loads for honey. And that's about one year's worth as well, so that's pretty good. Right, let's de-tag that. And let's look at cereal. Just the supermarket. We know where that is. So what we'll do is I'll take the I'll take this trailer down to the cereal factory. We will head back to the farm, grab the forklift as well, and then we will see you back at the, well not back at, but we'll see you at the cereal factory, get those pallets loaded, sold as well, bit more income coming in. Alright, well I have everything set up and ready to go, I've got loads of the cereal ready as well, uh, these will be much easier to deal with. Uh, with the uh, the forklift um, then the honey will do I reckon I can do three across do you think I should try it or is that too risky well let's do let's do the, let's do two this way and see we we might not need to worry about that I'd rather go higher up than uh, wide if we can get two thousand though on one nice look at that this is gonna be a massive income. This is very exciting. So the cereal, at the end of it all, will probably end up being worth it. I will... I just... Okay, I'll put... Put these two at the front, and then I'll put the next two at the back. Because I think that's why the trailer was going a wonky. It's because it did not like the weight distribution that I was providing. No, right, and I do... I do need you to stay. There we go. Same issue as the uh, lettuce, yeah? Same issues... Right. I do like this. I will miss the cereal. It looks great. Happy hoops, choc loops, sweet wheat, all that's quite funny. It's quite good. Uh, didn't even put any wheat in cereal, but anyways, neither here nor there. It seems as though the cereal uh, production is finished. Um, oh, hello. I do not want to just yet take this first one here. Um, I suppose I probably could check. Let me just get this one here. There we go. Oh, barely. There we are. I'll put this one towards the back of the trailer. If we can get in there nice and... Oh, have I hit the trailer? No, I haven't. I thought I hit it. Right. Perfect. Uh, now we can lock that down. Have a look here. Right, it says nothing is on. So, right, we are going to lose um, 35. Here, we'll change that to selling. Uh, we're going to lose that much corn, that much oat, and that many raisins, unfortunately. I suppose. Action, hang on a minute. If I were to bring a pallet of honey it would be able to resume most of this nah it wouldn't be worth it, it wouldn't be enough it wouldn't be worth it so we'll let that sell and 
go from there. Right, I will stick the rest of the uh, serial loading into a time lapse for you, uh, since the honey one was a bit of a bust. <laughs> um, but yes, we shall uh, get this done very swiftly, and then we can bring it to be sold. There we go. A bit of faffing around there, but we got it done. Uh, so, super strength is nice to have, especially uh, when you have situations like that. Um, I'm sure you saw that during the the, uh, the time lapse. Bit of a wonky um, situation. I don't even know what happened. I was turning around and uh, the uh, the pallets just decided to fly in the air, and the forklift went everywhere as well. And yeah, it was just a mess. So we'll just quickly and cheekily toss these on. And then we can head down to the supermarket, which is just down the road. So I'll strap those in very nicely. Excellent. Look at that serial load. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. Right, fire up the engine. 18,000 litres of cereal. Uh, I'm sure the calculation uh, is already figured out by someone. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, but I'm very excited to find out what it is in the end. Right, we'll see you at the supermarket. All right, now let's see if we can get it all in the trigger in one nice fell swoop. It might be a bit difficult, actually. Hmm. Right, well, we will uh, get a nice amount regardless, but it would be nice to get it all in one. Oh, we've already got caught up on something. So there's 72, uh, sorry, 27, rather. What a mess. Alright, that should be fine. Should get the rest of it in there. Brilliant. Oh my god, 135,000. I haven't even watched the money go up. Blimey, 135,000 plus 7. Plus 2, plus lord knows what else. Let's have a quick look. That is amazing. Maybe we should have stayed in the serial production game. Blimey. Um, right, sold products, 210, so that minus the, uh, the, uh, the honey that we sold, uh, absolutely brilliant, um, could definitely pay for the damages of the trailer after crashing into the supermarket, but, <laughs> with that money, but that is absolutely brilliant, I can't, I can't believe that, that is amazing money for us, uh, we are now going to head back to the farm, uh, and get everything else sorted. So we do need a new cow pen, so that's perfect. Need money for that. We also do need to purchase Field 15, which now we have no problem doing, with almost £600,000. Um, we will pay off the loan, if not all of it. We can pay off definitely most of it. Um, well, we should probably pay off all of it, to be honest. Um, and then, yeah, after we make a few a few purchases, then I will definitely put money towards the, uh, the loan as well. Right, so we'll get this uh, put away, we'll find a home for the trailer, and then we'll see you in a moment with the next task. Alright, well we are back at the farm now, as you can see. Um, I was having a chat with the ladies here, and they are actually, they've told me that they do want a bit more space. Um, not only that, but they, as I've said before, we had one of the one of our original ladies reproduce, and they weren't able to fit all the calves, unfortunately. Uh, so, what we are going to do is we have a brilliant canola field here grow growing um, however we are going to sacrifice part of it this area was always just excess it was just just because it was there I decided to drill it so it, I'm not concerned about that whatsoever uh, plus we uh, I've I wanted to put a cow shed there before so what I'm gonna do is put the exact same the Hessian barn I believe that's what it is the Hessian cow barn Put another one right here. So first things first, let's uh, let's have a save, just to make certain that we don't muck anything up. And then we'll go to construction, animals, cows. Right. So 
for 50,000, which is the same price as the Hessian that we currently have. It's right like that. So we're going to keep it even the same direction, actually. The one thing I want to avoid doing is taking over the road. I've, I've had issues with that in the past. Not here. I think it was fine here. Yeah, it was fine there. But how do you... Ta yeah, there we go. Toggle free mode. So the ground is level, so we don't have to worry about leveling it. But I will put this so that the door is nicely lined up there. And hopefully it doesn't destroy too much. We shall see. Three, two... Alright. Nothing's floating, nothing's sunk in. Can open the doors, fine. Ah, oh, look at that. Brilliant. We can get a slurry rate off from the road. And, oh yeah, that's brilliant. Look at that. And we still have a little bit of canola that we can harvest as well. Uh, we'll definitely do some landscaping around here afterwards as well. Uh, put some dirt down. Basically just scratch the grass off uh, of there. Oh, I'm very pleased about this. Right. Now, we have to move cows from one to the other. Let's look at the sales. Oh, yeah, right. Massive. Unnecessary for us. Um, animal transport. We need to... Right. Um, I have had other ones that are much less... Expect we literally only need to move a handful of... Well, about ten cows. How much does that move? Six, eh? Right, if we were to get the details on that and lease it, it's very inexpensive, but I believe there is a better option for us. We can buy one for almost that price. Right, so we'll sort that out uh, in a hot moment. I do want to give a bit of landscaping while we are here. Get the dirt out. Right, we'll keep as much of the canola as possible for now um, until... Oh, yeah, it's too bad that that's weird. Is that crop still? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was canola in their pan. I was like, that's not good. They're not even going to eat that. Perfect. That looks much better like that. And I suppose we could probably do something similar here. Just up to there. It's fine. Clear that as well. Perfect. That looks brilliant. That looks very... Uh, well, it'll look a bit more natural uh, when we get it sorted. But yeah, this this is very nice. I'm very pleased with this purchase. Right, this little area used to be one field. And now it's turned into a production. Technically, two other productions with the animals. Uh, right, brilliant. Okay, well, we... Uh, we shall go collect some cows from there and put them over there. Be back in a moment. All right. Well, I knew I had these inst uh, like downloaded, but just not installed on this game uh, save. So we do have the 13,200 and 60,900 for eight, uh, six and eight uh, cows, respectively. We will go for this option. I was going to lease it, but, I mean, it'd be dirt cheap to lease it. Might as well actually do. Because how often do you think we'll be using this? Yeah, we might as well lease it uh, at that price. For for under a thousand pounds, we'll just lease it, move the cows over, and then we can just return it. Yes, let's do that instead. Much better alternative to purchasing it. Um, eventually, eventually we'll have to sell the uh, the cows. And even if we do lease this machine, we have to look at the the price, whether it's worth doing cows individually, selling them straight from the barn, or bringing them to the animal dealer. We do have both options, so for now, we've leased it, and we'll see you back at the cow barn. Right, we are arriving now. I will admit, though, it does look very good uh, on the Massey. Very, very good indeed. Right, so let's try and should have come in the other way, perhaps. We'll go like this. Get lined up with our Cow pen here we go, open it up. Right, let's get the gate open as well. Perfect. So, what we need to do is open the animal dialogue. We should take.
Now, I see 1,500 here. I'm worried that that is the max capacity. Uh, sorry, the maximum amount that we can receive if we were to sell these cows. Being the oldest ones, 28... Oh, blimey. What? Why? Do they lose their value? Because that's 55 months, that's 28. It's like their prime value is 1500 but they start to decrease after that amount very strange their health is at 100 so I don't see any reason to sell them uh, if anyone has any insight into this please let me know because uh, I will I will sell them if that's the case I should keep an eye on that price as well but since they're old ladies we will take them all so we'll take the eight for now uh, move to trailer yes right so we'll take these eight to start and I don't think they'll escape, so I'll leave that open. I suppose we could uh, we could have kept the older ones there, but we'll put the older ones here because then they have their own space. They're a bit more out in the open as well. And fewer to move. Also, I'll probably put the five babies in. Hopefully, they're the these are the mothers, but we shall see. I don't want to split. But it's not real, so it's all right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, we'll reverse to here. Can we not? Uh, can we not put them in there? Strange. Ah, okay, that's fine. Yes. Weird. They are very comfortable, are they not? Alright, we'll go get the other uh, eight, or the, uh, sorry, the other two of the uh, older cows, and we'll look at the other options as well. I wonder if we should just put the five, the five younger ones in there as well. Because then it'll, it'll uh, actually, um, well, we'll see, we'll see. Now, I don't need to open this every time, but looks good. Right, which ones have two? 55. So we'll select them. There's only two, so move them to the trailer. Perfect. And now we've got... So one month and eight months. Who's going to reproduce next? Ah, uh, right. Well, let's put the babies in. There should be five. Perfect. So that's 15, and then we'll have 30 there. Now, nah, we'll leave them. Let's take maybe this 10 as well. Yeah, we'll, t we'll take this lot as well. So we'll come back for the other four of the 28-month-olds, and we'll move them to the, to the new pen. Right, we'll get that sorted, and we'll see you in a moment. All right. Well, we have the cows in. We've returned our um, animal transport, and now I have the TMR mixer with a full mix that I made for the other pen. Um, but they are pretty well full up, so I'm just going to come in with this one. Um, I guess I could put a path in there. We don't have to go all the way around this grassy area, but we'll come in this way, and we'll give them. This good thing we've got a lot of grain uh, coming, so I'll let that unload because we also need to bring in straw. What else do they need? Just straw. That's it. Uh, they've got loads of slurry in this one, um, which is good because we do have some uh, fields to fertilize. Right. So this is doing its thing. Uh, once it's done. I'll take the mixer, put it back under the thing, under the, the pipe, so we can make another load later on. But I will bring... Well, actually what I will do is I'll put straw in and just dump it with this. So I'll get I'll get at least 5,000 litres of straw in there for them. Um, actually, I could probably put more, um, perhaps. But what I'll do... Actually, I'll put... F I'll fill this up with straw, which I know will take away from the food, but that's fine. I'll put 
I'll put a bit in this one because I only have about 5,000 so I'll put yeah I'll put a bit of it in and then a bit in the other one put a couple thousand in here and a couple thousand in there right I'll sort this out and then the next thing we do need to do um, now that we have the cows sorted is we need to fertilize the rest of field 7 right let me just very quickly get the straw in without using all of it probably keep about 7,000 Just want to keep an eye on it. Mm, brilliant. That's perfect. We'll go put some straw in the other in the other one. Uh, but we will be purchasing field oh, this way. Uh, purchasing field 15 because we can, and it has sugar beets, and we need sugar beets. So we will do that as soon as I get this straw in. Probably will put a little path in here as well. So I don't have to go all the way around. And so it looks neater. Right, put the rest in here. Let's look at seven for fertilizing is is a bit of a mess. As you can see, half of the field is uh, left to do. So we've got loads of slurry. So we'll go over to field seven, do that. Field 13 is ready to go. Uh, field 15 has been fully fertilized. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, while we're here, let's make that purchase field 15 will you accept me buying you thank you perfect so let's go to our um, fertilization again oh that's brilliant I thought I would have to fertilize that but I waited just long enough how very cheeky right let's leave this here we'll connect to all oh, right we're at the different cow barn now. I uh, will connect to our slurry spreader and then we'll see you over at field number seven. All right well uh, we've arrived at the field and unfortunately I have also just realized that it is beyond uh, spraying with slurry not only for realism I suppose because you wouldn't put slurry or manure on a field that's very in like it's growing very well um, also, if I were to drive through here, I would destroy the crop. So, unfortunately, I've missed my uh, my opportunity to complete the fertilization of this half of the field. Um, I could lease a uh, a spreader, I suppose. I do have a bit of uh, fertilizer in the uh, thing. Actually, hang on a minute. There's a very. Is there any sales on? Oh, hello. No thanks. Um, we could potentially lease this. Uh, just to get it quickly done. How much to lease that? £1,200. I reckon that it could be worth it, but at the same time... Actually, yeah, it would be. I'm going to do that. Right, I'm going to sort this out. I'm going to yes to this. I do have a bit of uh, solid fertilizer remaining in my one fertilizer spreader. Unfortunately, again, big wide tires on it, so we'll destroy the crop. But uh, we will have to put Nero's on the Massey, if I haven't already, and then we can spray the field. It seems a bit of an extra workaround just to get the, uh, the rest of the fertilization completed, but at the same time, I reckon it's worth it in the long run. So we'll get that sorted, and uh, all things done, we'll see you back at field 7. Alright, so we are here now, and about lined up with where we were, but I will go a little bit past this because I reckon we can get the whole the whole lot of it in one go, in one pass, because this is a massive spreader, it's 42 metres. So, this is about the middle, so let's go down and see what happens. Blimey, it is going to cover it perfectly, and barely using any fertiliser as well. Oh my goodness, that's insane. That's mental. Well, good good job to loan this, I reckon. Um, perhaps in the future we'll need to lease it, uh, sorry, lease it, not loan it, lease it again. Um, but yeah, we had just enough fertilizer as well. So when we're done this, we shall go back to the farm. We'll return the, uh, well, we'll turn the fertilizer to the farm and we'll turn the spreader to the shop. Because we're all done now. Look at that. Alright, there is fine as well. We will lower it down. 
disconnect from it. Just park up real quick. Oh, we got to remember as well to take off those uh, narrow tyres next job we do. Right, we shall go to leased items and returned. Beautiful. Nice bag of uh, fertiliser there. Right, we'll very quickly go. Oh, see, honey's already reproducing like mad. Absolute mental. It's probably because we've got all these bees. I didn't think they'd produce that much, to be honest. Right, very quickly go and see. Chickens are doing fine for food. How are you ladies doing? You alright? Yeah. They're doing just fine. Oh, there's a bit of canola in here, is there? I'll have a go then. Eat the leaves off. I'm sure it's alright for you. If you want. Probably won't care for it. Anyways, well that's that'll do us for March. Or at least the first part of March. We've got lots on. Uh, in the coming coming months. We've got grass to cut. We've got productions to build. Etc, etc. So, great episode again. Got lots sold, lots done. Lots of progression. Feeling good about it. Episode 60. Can't believe it already. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for watching as always. And oh, all the ladies are saying goodbye as well. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care and bye for now.